Hi class, welcome to our subject, Fundamentals of Accounting, Business and Management, Part 1. For a brief explanation or course description of Fundamentals of Accounting, Business and Management 1. So, this is an introductory course in Accounting, Business and Management Data Analysis that will develop students' appreciation of accounting as a language of business and understanding of basic accounting concepts and principles that will help them analyze business transactions. So, the real question here is, are you ready? to learn accounting? I hope you are. So to start off, we are going to discuss chapter 1, the introduction to accounting. So for today, we're going to learn or we need to learn the following items. First is definition of accounting and then the nature of accounting, then the history or origin of accounting and the branches of accounting are the areas of specialization. So way back nung time na face-to-face -face classes pa, do your parents ask you how you spend your allowance every day? Or when deciding when buying a bottle of soft drinks or a bottle of water? So what is your basis for decision? Or what is the basis of your decision? So it can either be the price, the price of the product, or um, if kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mo. Also, at the same time, um, when going home before, um, do you sometimes choose to walk from school rather than riding a public vehicle, for example, because you want to save? So in that following situations, so we arrived that all of that involves accounting. So, the question now is, bakit or paano nakaka-relate yung mga situations na yun sa accounting? And why do you say that we use accounting in those types of situations? So, that is one of our objective today is to be able to learn accounting or the definition and the nature of accounting and then apply it in our real-life situation. So, let's start with the first topic. So, let me ask you this question first. Is accounting important to you? So, maybe now, hindi nyo pa realize yung importance and how you actually apply accounting in your daily lives. But later on, after we discuss, so we're going to go back here in this question and really, um, it's like a thought to ponder if importante ba talaga yung accounting sa atin. Definition of accounting. So, there are three widely accepted definitions of accounting. So, according to ASC or the Accounting Standard Council, accounting is a service activity. So, its function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions. So, first, let's start off with the statement that accounting is a service activity. So, in the operations of the businesses, so it can either be service, merchandising or manufacturing so since in accounting you use your service in order to operate or in order to do accounting so that's why it is a service activity and the next one is its function is to provide quantitative information in that sense so accounting provides um, three types of information. It provides quantitative information, qualitative information, and financial information. So first, 
um, ano ba yung difference na itong tatlong to? So, yung quantitative information is it is those that are expressed in numbers, quantities, or units. And then, qualitative information, so it is expressed in words or descriptive form. And then, the last one is financial information in which the following um, information are expressed in terms of money. So, going back, so, again, from or according to ASC, so, it does provide quantitative information. So, meaning, it is expressed in terms of units, quantities, numbers. So, primarily, financial in nature. So, meaning, it is expressed in money. And then, about economic entities. So, ano nga ba yung meaning ng economic entities? Or, what are those economic entities? Economic entity is a separately identifiable combination of persons and property that uses or controls economic or scarce resources to achieve certain goals or objectives. So therefore, um, we, are, we have two types of economic entity. So we have the not-for-profit or non-profit entity and the business entity. So, what's the difference between those two entities? So, not-for-profit or non-profit entity is the one that carries out some special desirable needs of the community or its members whose activities are not directed towards making profit. So, thus, yung word niya na not-for-profit or non-profit entity, so meaning ina-attend niya pa din yung needs ng community or yung mga members in which wala siyang um, purpose of making a profit. So, on the other hand, business entity is an economic entity that produces and distributes goods or services primarily for profit. So, the main difference between these two is that one is not directed towards making profit and then the other one or the business entity is primarily for profit. So, again, going back, so, meaning, nagpo-provide ng quantitative information, primarily um, financial in nature. So, it is expressed in money about economic entity. So, meaning, it can either be for the not-for-profit or non-profit and or for the business entities. So, the main purpose is to be useful in making economic decisions. So, that's the meaning of ASC. So, meaning, yung ginagawa dito sa accounting, so, ang end process niya lagi, or the purpose of that one, is to be useful in making economic decisions. So, economic decision, so, for example, for your business, if you're going to add more investment, or about the operation of your business, so, those are the economic decision na magagawa mo, or uh, makakatulong sa iyo na makapag-decide through the use of accounting. So, next definition is from AAA or the American Accounting Association. So, according to AAA, accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decisions by users of the information. So, dito naman kay AAA, it started off with a process na identifying, measuring, and communicating. So, the first one is identification. Identification is the accounting process of recognition or non-recognition of business activities as accountable events or whether they have accounting relevance. So, in businesses, not all events or transactions that is happening or that happened have accountable events or does have accounting relevance. So, di ba nga, dun sa first meaning natin, so, accounting is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature. So, ibig sabihin, hindi naman lahat ng um, events or transactions ay mayroon nun. 
So, the economic events of organizations are referred to as transactions. So, so for example, in a bakery business, the following economic events or transactions na pwede mangyari is yung sale of bread and other bakery products or the purchases of flours, flour or the other ingredients that will be used for baking and then um, pag malaki din yung business, pwede the purchases of trucks needed to deliver the products. So, like dun sa sale of bread, so kunyari, binibenta mo yung bread mo around 100 peso. 100 pesos. So, kada benta mo nung bread, meron tayong economic event or accountable event or transaction na nangyayari doon. Kasi we can really ex um, identify yung quantitative information niya and it is financial in nature. So, also, dun sa purchases of flour, so, kunyari, bumibili ka sa supplier mo ng flour na ginagamit mo para makagawa ka ng mga bread na bibenta mo. So, yung halaga ng flour na yon kaya din natin siyang ma-recognize. So, that's why um, those events or the accountable events in that bakery business. So, after identifying if meron ba talagang nangyari na accountable event or yung transaction have accounting relevance, so the next step is the measurement. So, this is the accounting process of assigning of peso amounts or numbers to the economic transactions and events. The unit of measure of accounting is money expressed in prices. So, meaning yung katulad ng kanina, so dun sa sale of bread worth 100 pesos, so yung 100 pesos, iyon na yung measurement natin. So, yun na yung pag-assign natin ng peso or numbers to the economic transactions and events. So, after measurement, we go now to the last process which is communication. So, it is the accounting process of preparing and distributing accounting reports to potential users of accounting information and interpreting the significance of this process information. So, upon identifying and measurement of the different accountable events and transactions na nangyayari sa isang business, so like for example, in a month or in a year, so, dun sa accounting process, pinaprepare niya yung accounting reports. So, ibig sabihin lahat ng na-identify and na-measure natin ng mga transactions. And then, um, it is given or it is used by the potential users or the users of accounting information. So, later on, we have a separate chapter kung sino-sino ba tong users ng accounting information. And then, um, it is used for or to interpret kung ano ba yung significance ng mga information na yun sa business. So, katulad din ng um, definition sa ASE, so para parang in general term is to make use of it for economic decisions. So, like yung mga importante na pwede mangyari dun sa business mo. So, again, um, from AAA, accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, and communicating economic information to permit informed judgments and decisions by users of the information. For the last definition of accounting, so it came from the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants, so, according to them, accounting is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions, and events which are, in part at least, of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof. So, from that definition and from the definition previously from AAA, and ASC, you can identify na they are almost the same, na meron certain process or things na in the record, and then the result is for them to interpret the results for or in making the economic decisions. So, dito naman sa AICPA, 
So, it is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing. So, let's dwell first in that meaning or the meaning of recording, classifying, and summarizing. Recording is a process of systematically committing to writing business transactions and events in the books of account in a systematic and chronological manner according to accounting rules and regulation. So, katulad ng mga meaning natin kanina, uh, meron lang tayo nire-record if we have an accountable event or meron siyang relevance sa accounting. And also, one important thing here in recording is that it is systematically and chronologically um, regulated or merong fina-follow tayong um, manner of recording. So, ibig sabihin ng chronological, ibig sabihin kung ano mismo yung sunod-sunod na nangyari dun sa business. So, let's say, um, January 1, this thing or this accountable event happened and then January 2, this accountable um, event happen. So, dapat sunod-sunod siya. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng chronological. And of course, we we are bound by the accounting rules and regulation. So, later on, we will also discuss um, the accounting concepts and principle na parang doon magsisimula or yung par yun yung parang rules and regulation kung paano tayo mag-re-record um, ng mga accountable event. And then, next one is classifying. So, it is the grouping of similar and interrelated items into their respective classes. So, eto, meron kasi tayong classifications ng accounts. So, later on, we will also discuss those things. But, in general, um, kailangan natin siyang i-group of similar and interrelated items because in a business, maraming nangyayaring transactions. So, bali parang for, month, for one month pa lang, marami ng possible transactions na nangyayari. So, parang to classify or to identify each one transactions or yung mga accounts na nangyayari. So, kailangan i-group natin sila into similar and then in interrelated items para makapag-come up din tayo sa mas maayos na resulta or economic decision or para mas magamit natin siya nung sa pagdi-decision making natin. And then, last one is summarizing. So, so this one is expressing in condensed or brief form, the recorded and classified information in financial statements. So, after nating maklasify yung bawat transaction or accounts na nangyari, we can now summarize those things. So, in summarizing, our end um, form is the financial statements. So, from that financial statements, uh, ma-identify na natin yung financial position and financial performance ng ating business na pwede natin gamitin sa paggagawa ng mga economic decisions. So, let's go back to the definition of accounting according to AICPA. So, for the continuation, so it it is um, the art of recording, classifying, summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transaction, and events. So, ibig sabihin, katulad lang din ng mga meaning natin kanina sa AAA and sa ASC na quantitative information, primarily financial in nature. And then, which in part, at least of financial character, so yun yun. And also, again, for the last part is to interpret the results or to make economic decision from that recording, classifying, and summarizing process. So, again, that's the definition of accounting to AICPA. So, after discussing the definition of accounting, so let's now discuss the nature of accounting. So, first one is that accounting is a service activity. So, accounting provides assistance to decision makers by providing them financial reports that will guide them in coming up with sound decision. So, that's why 
since nagpo-provide sila ng assistance or nung service. So, that's why it is considered that accounting is a service activity. And also, yung parang explanation ko din kanina, na di ba, in businesses, there are three types of um, business organization, which is yung service, merchandising, and manufacturing. So, since nagpo-provide tayo ng assistance to the decision makers, so, it is considered as service activity. So, next one is that accounting is a process. So, process in a sense that it refers to the method of performing any specific job step by step according to the objectives or targets. So, diba, we discussed earlier that um, it is the process or accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, and communicating. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong process na fina-follow dito sa accounting. So, next one is that accounting is both an art and discipline. So, earlier, dun sa meaning natin ng accounting from AICPA, so, it is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing. So, Bakit natin kino-consider na ang accounting ay isang art? So, accounting again is the art of recording, classifying, summarizing, and fina finalizing financial data. So, the word art refers to the way something is performed. Di ba parang art of dancing, art of singing. So, meron tayong something na na-perform. So, it is behavioral knowledge involving a certain creativity and skill to help us attain some specific objectives. So, accounting also is a systematic method consisting of definite techniques and its proper application requires skill and expertise. So, like Art, for example, when in painting, meron din sila mga certain skill or expertise or techniques na ginagawa. And ganun din dito sa accounting. So, that's why it is considered as an art. So, bakit naman siya kinoconsider as a discipline? So, by nature kasi, di ba, accounting nga is an art. And then, meron tayong fina-follow na certain standards and guidelines or professional ethics. So, from there, kaya natin siya nako-consider na na as a discipline. Kasi yung pag-follow dun sa certain standards na yun or dun sa mga guidelines na yun, I considered as discipline. So, next nature of accounting is that it deals with financial information and transactions. So, yung accounting, it does records financial transactions and data and then classifies this and finalizes the results given for a specified period of time. So, as needed by their users. So, at every stage... From start to finish, accounting deals with the financial information and financial transactions only. So, it does not deal with non-monetary and non-financial aspects of such information. So, that's why again, going back to the definition of accounting, diba, we parang ilang beses abanggit doon yung financial character so, and it in terms of money, transactions, and events. So, that's why um, one nature of accounting is that is this, that um, it deals with financial information and transactions. And then, the last nature of accounting, accounting as an information system. So, accounting is recognized and characterized as a storehouse of information. So, bakit sinasabi siya na storehouse siya ng information? It is because as a service function, so it collects processes and communicates financial information of any entity. So, lahat from the very start na magkaroon ng mga accountable events, account and transaction, iba't ibang information. So, yon lahat is um, nare-recognize and nakakarakterize siya ng accounting. So, that's why um, 
yung buong yon is nagrigi siyang storehouse ng information. So, this discipline of knowledge has evolved to meet the need for financial information as required by various interested groups or yung mga users ng um, information system or yung mga information na yon or users ng um, financial reports. So, di ba, parang like example, yung dictionary. So, information, ang dami-daming information yon And sino yung mga gumagamit? Yung mga students. So, parang here in accounting, nasa accounting din lahat ng information. And then, yung mga interested groups or yung mga users, doon nila makikita yung mga information sa accounting. So, that's why one nature of accounting is it is an information system or the storehouse of information. And that's the end of the nature of accounting. So again, we have that accounting is a service activity, it is a process, it is both an art and discipline, it deals with financial information and transactions, and that it is an information system. And that's the definition and nature of accounting. So, for our next lesson, we're going to discuss the history or origin of accounting and then the branches of accounting or the areas of specialization. That's all for today. Thank you, class. And again, welcome to Accounting 1.